Hello everybody, here is our latest video update on Typhoon Jalawad and also on Tropical Storm. We've been here today, uh, September 28th, it's Friday afternoon. We continue to watch Typhoon Jalawat or Bagyong Lawin nearing the Yayama Islands here of Japan, the island chain located just east of Taiwan here. You can see the eye last located approximately 100 kilometers southeast of the city of Ishigaki about 450 kilometers northeast of uh, Basco Batanes giving you more distances here roughly 340 kilometers east southeast of Taipei or about 450 kilometers uh, southwest of Okinawa maximum sustained winds have decreased slightly to 175 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 250 kilometers per hour system has begun to move north northeastward and has also accelerated slightly now moving 20 kilometers per hour and you can see the winds here are from JMA uh, if you use J Joint Typhoon Warning Center's 1 minute winds Jalawat is still a category 4 but has weakened down from a super typhoon to just a typhoon uh, it has also been uh, the winds have also been uh, lowered by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and as I said it's barely a category 4 Expect to weaken to a category 3 perhaps by tonight or early tomorrow morning. You can see in this latest visible image, the system does look weaker compared to yesterday. The eye has been uh, getting smaller and has also become more rugged, and uh, as you can see here, it's becoming cloud filled. Central dense overcast still remains pretty strong here, still surrounded by strong convective activity, but the system overall is, uh, is beginning to weaken. And in fact, the core, the inner core of the system is taking a hit now, starting to decay as again as it begins to encounter cooler waters in this region along with stronger uh, westerly shear. Still not too bad and still won't significantly knock down the system, but uh, the weakening trend uh, has definitely begun as we've expected. A uh, system moving away from the Philippines, uh, Pagasus lowered signal number three and uh, now only issuing signal number two for Batanes group of islands and signal number one for Kalayan and Babuyan groups of islands so no more uh, provinces in Luzon under signal warnings um, these island chains uh, should continue to expect tropical storm force winds along with scattered rain showers but for the most part weather here should begin to improve tonight and into tomorrow same can't be said though for Okinawa as in fact Kadena has now raised t court 2 inside the air base basically mean, uh, means that they are expecting 50 knots or greater to begin in the next 24 hours um, general cleanup as I said before and also th this is the time to uh, take inside all the uh, belongings uh, that could uh, become uh, deadly and dangerous projectiles when those once those strong winds hit the uh, area and also to begin to stock up on food, water, and all that stuff here. Looking at the infrared image, again, you can still see that clear eye has become smaller, but it's still surrounded by strong convective activity, although the cloud tops have warmed in the past 12 to 24 hours, barely showing anything beyond or colder than negative 70, 70 degrees Celsius. But again, still system still very expansive, still has that good poleward and even equatorward outflow, despite the stronger shear and also uh, some most of actually most of those convection now beginning to impact the Yayama Islands. In fact, if you take a look at the latest radar from uh, JMA, it's the radar from Ishigaki and Miyakojima, showing you the eye of um, Jalawat just south of the islands here, uh, southeast of Ishigaki, bringing those very heavy rainfall, those I outer and inner rain bands definitely capable of producing as much as 20 to even 30 millimeters of rainfall. In in an hour and in fact we already have stations here reporting more than 150 millimeters in the past 12 hours alone so uh, definitely uh, Jalawat is, is bringing with it heavy rains and not only that but strong winds as well uh, if you take a look at the latest wind reports also from JMA here across the Miyakojima and Yayama Islands you can see those these are in meters per second so if you factor that in, uh, most of these stations are reporting well above tropical storm force uh, around uh, 80 to 100 kilometer kilometers per hour sustained winds 
and some of those could gust well up to Typhoon Force, some stations supporting gusts of up to 170 km per hour, and even Ishigaki Airport finally reporting Typhoon sustained uh, in uh, 4 p.m. Japan time, the reported gusts of up to uh, sustained winds of up to 120 km per hour, along with gusts of up to 160. So, again, despite the eye being 100 km offshore, the islands are definitely feeling those typhoon force winds, as we've been saying yesterday. And obviously, most of those strong winds and heavy rains will slowly drift northward, potentially impacting Okinawa beginning tomorrow morning. Looking at the forecast here again, showing the steering patterns have mostly been established now. As we've been saying in the past few days, we, that we have this trough moving across East China Sea, leaving a weakness and allowing the system to move uh, northward. It will turn to the northeast by tonight and into tomorrow as it begins to be picked up by this trough, accelerating it quickly to the northeast. And also here we have a vineyard also doing its own thing moving east northeastward as it also is beginning to interact with its strong westerly winds. Finally we have the uh, forecast tracks from the computer models again very good agreement overall uh, forecasting this to move near Okinawa by tomorrow afternoon and perhaps move into a Honshu. It's not going to end here guys as if you continue to watch the system perhaps make landfall here in mainland Japan by early part of next week perhaps by Monday morning as a uh, weak weakening typhoon or perhaps a tropical storm. And before we actually move into the official forecast, I just want to direct your eyes over to the um, east here. Another batch of lines, and again this is the Invest 94W that I mentioned yesterday, could develop into a tropical storm the next three to five days. In fact, Joint Typhoon Warning Center already raised the possibility to low chance and uh, just another sign that they are closely monitoring this region for development. And in fact, we may not uh, we may not just see one. In fact, some computer models are forecasting two tropical cyclones to form next week, and one of them could form right near the Philippines. Uh, not an invest yet, but we're expecting a low pressure area to form somewhere across the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea in the next uh, three days. And as I said before, some computer models developing this into a weak tropical storm as we head into next week. So something definitely need to be watched. So Western Pacific continues to remain active here as we move into the um, month of October. And now we head into the for official forecasts for Jalawat. This is the 24-hour forecast from JMA. These tiny dots here represent three-hour intervals. And if you take a look at that here, Expect this to actually move very near the island of Miyakojima in about 12 hours and by tomorrow afternoon could move just south of Naha in Okinawa. JMA forecasting this to remain a typhoon, a strong typhoon, in the next 24 to 36 hours as it moves to the northeast. And if you take a look at their 5-day, uh, actually 4-day forecast, and expecting this system to move near Okinawa by tomorrow, Remaining as a typhoon by Saturday evening and perhaps Sunday morning, weakening to a tropical storm and making landfall in the Kii Peninsula or in the prefecture of Wakayama uh, by uh, early Monday morning, or perhaps uh, late Sunday evening, depending on the speed. Uh, but you can imagine here in the forecast track, they are expecting the system to accelerate uh, greatly as it interacts with the jet stream in this region. But uh, as you can see, still a big threat remains for Japan. Even though it passes uh, across Okinawa, it's still going to be a big threat weakening. Perhaps weakening to a tropical storm, but still lots of heavy rains, uh, potentially, for um, the island of Honshu. And finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center here. And forecasting the system, actually, they are forecasting this to make landfall in Okinawa, passing directly over the Kadena Air Base by... Uh, Tomorrow afternoon, Saturday, ex they are expecting the maximum sustain. Uh, sorry, they are expecting the uh, maximum winds in the area to be felt between the hours of 11 a.m. to around 4 p.m. Uh, Okinawa time. They are expecting winds of as high as 200 kilometers per hour. But uh, since the system is weakening by that point, um, probably expect uh, lower winds, probably around 160 kilometers per hour. But still. 
very big threat definitely very strong typhoon still maybe a category 2 or category 3 but still nothing to be taken lightly here as you can see in this latest 4 day forecast as well causing this to remain a typhoon right before landfall as it moves into uh, Honshu they are they have their landfall point slightly east compared to the JMA but still nearly the same areas forecast to be impacted by Jalawat as you move into the early part of next week to finish things off and we continue to watch Jalawat uh, all warnings should be heated here across uh, the uh, Ryukyu Islands Ishigakijima Ishiga Islands are now starting to feel those typhoon force winds continue to hunker down the year and also if you are in Okinawa and Amami and the rest of the Jap uh, Japanese territories definitely continue to closely monitor and also prepare now if you haven't done so already as the system could begin to move in in your area in the next 24 hours pack uh, in fact we're expecting those tropical storm force winds to begin impacting Okinawa uh, beginning later tonight if not early tomorrow morning Saturday finally move on to the other tropical storm severe tropical storm Iwinia last look at approximately 500 kilometers southeast of Tokyo Maximum sustained winds remain at 95 km per hour with gusts of up to 130. Uh, it is moving east northeastward at 15 km per hour. It has actually slowed down since last night, staying in this region for at least 48 hours. But again, remaining too far away for, uh, from Japan to really bring any significant weather. There have been some late light rain showers being reported here in Chiba Prefecture but again not, nothing too major nothing too significant most of the convection has been uh, well east of the islands here um, the mid -lat trough moving in from the west could enhance some rain showers in the next two days but in terms of direct impacts from Iwinia we're not really expecting anything uh, in those nature winds also in the Itsu islands uh, yesterday we were talking about tropical storm force winds they have uh, died down since uh, now we're only reporting around 30 kilometers per hour so definitely improving weather across the region the system should continue to move east northeastward accelerating along the way as well you have the latest forecast here from the JME and forecasting this to move northeastward across the Pacific and perhaps become extra tropical uh, by Sunday afternoon also uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center really similar forecasts here also showing a a uh, quick track to the northeast uh, remaining as a weak tropical storm perhaps uh, even complete that extra-tropical transition by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening or perhaps by Monday morning moving harmlessly out to sea so nothing to worry about anymore here um, wave heights though uh, may still impact the, the uh, southern and eastern uh, coasts of Honshu some advisories have been put out by JMA but uh, in terms of strong winds and heavy rains nothing in uh, that nature so thankfully uh, system moving away from uh, from Japan but again another threat looms from the south as we watch Jalawat move in and perhaps make landfall in this region in the next two to three days and that concludes our video update for today if you are again if you are in Japan continue to check out JMA for the latest uh, warnings and forecasts and also the latest radar images around uh, Japan also I guess uh, for the forecast and uh, weather forecast across the Philippines I know we have some monsoon rains here even bringing up to 50 millimeters in parts of central Luzon this afternoon um, to check out their forecast as well and if you have images and videos I'm not encouraging you to take those shots outside when the typhoon is, is uh, blowing by but if you can safely safely take one please share them with us at philippineweather at yahoo.com uh, definitely put it out here on our uh, YouTube uh, video forecasts and updates so stay safe guys. Bye -bye.